After a rough afternoon of severe weather, investigators with the National Weather Service plan to canvas areas across Northeast Ohio first thing tomorrow morning. They'll be trying to figure out how many tornadoes actually touched down in our area today. From Medina, Stark and Lake Counties and everywhere in between, fierce fall storms left their mark. Let's take a look at Hinkley, where the storms were so strong they tore a basketball hoop out of the concrete there. A garage door at this home left twisted and part of the roof was ripped off, leaving that hole. Once the storm passed, check out this hail that was left stuck to the garage. And now here's a look at Aurora with the storms tossed trees around in the parking lot of this industrial complex there. You can see leaves and branches scattered everywhere. And now down to Jackson Township where the storms tore up a baseball field. We'll take a closer look at the path of damage in that area in just a bit. Now, we've learned there were 11 tornado warnings in Northeast Ohio today, which is the most we've seen in years. But one of the places hit the hardest this afternoon never even had a warning issued. This is Wycliffe, where roofs were partially ripped off homes and trees toppled. News 5's Jesse Schultz there now as residents spent the evening cleaning up, and Jesse joins us live. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Courtney, yeah, we searched the entire city for storm damage, but it seems like the worst hit area was this cul-de-sac here off of Rush Road. The winds were so strong, it ripped the roof off of this house. Now, thankfully, the woman who lives inside this house wasn't home at the time, but her neighbors tell me it was a terrifying few moments. It was just a little after four in the afternoon Thursday when Joe Tushar heard the sound of wind picking up and a noise unlike any he's heard before. I heard the freight train sound. You can hear it. It's a different kind of sound and it wasn't a good sound. He and his wife ran to their basement and it was over just about as soon as we got in the basement. A short few moments, but the damage extensive. He says his backyard was a mess. Wires down, telephone poles snapped and debris. But it wasn't until he saw his neighbor's house that he felt lucky. When I got outside, I looked outside and I couldn't believe what I saw. The roof of his neighbor's home was nearly all gone. That was surreal. The woman who lives there was not home at the time. I don't think she, anybody could be good with something like this, but she understood and you know we'll get the, we'll get her through it. The Jim Powers, the Wycliffe job. Fire Chief, says as soon as the storm passed through, the cleanup began. Went for about a half a mile. So we saw a lot of wires down. Uh, branches down, but apparently it just hit here. David Derizek can attest to these few houses getting the worst of it. He lives just three minutes away from his great aunt and uncle's home in this cul-de-sac. He says he didn't hear or feel anything, but his family members called him in a panic. That's why it was so weird when they called, they said tornado and we know how close they live. That's why, I, that's why I really we were dumbfounded for a minute to figure out what was going on. That's why we just came up here. They too have significant damage. A tree fell into the back of their home. We're just glad they're okay. They seem a little shaken up, but they're gonna stay at my parents' house tonight. But despite all of this damage, the residents I talked to feel a sense of gratitude for all of the help. We'll be okay. I feel awful, but look how great the city of Wycliffe is. My gosh, they got a lot of it cleaned up already. Now, power is still out for a few hundred here in Lake County, but crews will be working throughout the night to restore it. It is unclear if a tornado actually did touch down, but News 5 did confirm with the National Weather Service that they will be out here tomorrow surveying the area. We'll keep you updated. For now, reporting live in Wycliffe, Jesse Schultz, News 5. That damage is awful, Jesse, but I'm so glad everyone's chipping in to help out there. Thanks so much. And those storms also left a path of damage in Jackson Township that's in Stark County. Our crews found a fence that was half toppled along with downed trees and a light pole ripped from its base near North Park. Now across the street, emergency crews were on the scene at the Royal Docks Brew House and Cannery and Bosco's Pizza. Both businesses had bad damage to their roofs with bricks laying across the parking lot. Just a few miles to the east, police blocked off the road as crews cleaned up toppled trees and branches on Lake O Springs Avenue.